older lady who lived here loved us the whole time, like was like bring the workers like, you know, cookies and stuff. And like we were sweet to her and helped her do stuff. And she got ready to move to the beach. And she was like, Matthew, I want to sell it to you. And one of the other people in the street wanted to buy it. And he offered her more money and she still sold it to me. And the ballpark, how much will you make in this? Projected. Hopefully 150, maybe 200 grand. seven under contract to buy we've got six purchase we hadn't started yet we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rehabs going up oh, we've got um, four active on the market one two three four five six seven under contracts to sell that's where we are now. Hey, man. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Plumbing's on the way to Altaloma. Wonderful. I'm here. If they start talking crazy shit, talk them down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, so they're coming here just to... Jeff they're coming sewer. there to open up that line. But you know how, how these sewer companies are. They find problems when there's not problems. So. You need to be standing over them and like win them over, okay? Yes, sir. And tell them we're not trying to create problems. We're trying to, if there's a real problem, let's look into it. If there's not a real problem, they need to pack up and leave. Understood. Okay, All right, call me. Yes, sir. You, you have a credit card? Yes, I do. Okay, you're gonna have to pay for something there. I think it's 585. Understood. All right, buddy. Uh, hey, uh, Becca called me. I've got a service call at the loft. I gotta go to at two o'clock. What is your, what is your service call? She said the washing machine's broke. Which washing machine? Um, one of the lofts. I'm unsure. She just said there's people coming in, and she wants me to look at it at two o'clock. At this point, we almost need like an in-house appliance guy. Yeah, I mean that's part of having rental properties. All right. I can I can I can do it though. All right, well, you don't you don't leave Altaloma until that jetting is done. You cannot leave, so so you just stay put, okay? Understood, yes, sir. All right, thanks, buddy. I can only handle so much, so I'm trying to, to put people in the right position to just handle stuff. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Um, he's having an emergency. What's up? He's, he's ran out of money. He said the last two or three people he's worked for hasn't paid him. And well, then he don't need to work uh, for anybody but us. Well, I, that is a, that is a initial response. <laughs> we got but, cash money. Yeah. Well, he said that he needs a 
uh, in order to finish her job, he'll have it installed tomorrow. But in order to give him that, a freaking check, how much you need? I don't have a check, brother. I guess What's he need? Number, 200 bucks is all he needs, and he'll come to wherever you put it. Okay. And Tell him how soon it. does he need it? To the, like, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at Woodfern. Would that help if I left it there? You can leave or? it. Just leave, just leave it in the mailbox. He'll come and get it without any questions. Okay. You just put. I just put uh, deposit. Why don't you just tell him to give us the whole amount? What? Seven hundred fifty dollars. And tell him I'll just leave him a check for seven fifty. That'll help him more. And he'll love. He'll love that. Yeah. He'll love me long time. He'll love you long time. <laughs> All right. Since this guy has been so devoted to us and he needs the money right now, I don't mind like stepping out a little bit of faith to to really earn a lifetime friendship, you know. And that's what this will do. The only time you don't do that is if the guy has has a drug problem. How you doing, dude? Hey, at Indian Springs, why do I have a putt on the yard? What? I at this point, I've wasted, you know, thousands of gallons of water. I need to know when it happens, not a week later. Am I right? Who, who fixed it? Why don't you just call me after you have an exact plan, okay? Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Okay, bye. Hey, um... I just when did when did you order that uh, dumpster for night? Has that already been done? Yeah. Okay, so I just thought about something. I I'm pretty got. sure you ordered the dumpster for night. I will. Yeah, I'm, I didn't order one, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you did it. Okay, I'm gonna have. I can't keep up with all the shit I'm doing and all the shit you're doing, so you're gonna have to keep up with that. Yes, sir. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to put Ross on that because you can't do anything else right now, can you? Well, I mean, I'm just trying to get these inspections. These inspections are, are important. And I know I put stuff on you, but when I put too much on you, you're just gonna have to say, listen, I cannot do that. I don't but, like saying, I don't like saying Well, that. yeah, but you're not Superman yet. We're getting you there. Uh, I realize that. I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get Ross to do that. And then if he can't do it, we might just have to slow that house down a second. Because oh, we've got plenty to do right now. Okay. Okay? All right. And but you need to see if you ordered a dumpster or not. Okay. So. You'll notice I, I tell people, don't get relaxed, because that's really the biggest thing, is keeping pressure on everybody around you. Because people will slow down if you don't. People will slow down. 
you can't let people slow down. You got to keep putting pressure on them. That's why Ross does such a good job. Is he 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 keeps pressure on. I keep pressure on him, and then he kind of <laughs> he kind of puts pressure on everybody else. You know, that's important, man. It's like a family, man. And I've been with Matthew for three years, and the guys, I spend more time with the guys uh, than I do my own family. So, today is going to be, I, I want to, I, I don't want to jinx it and, and say it's going to be an easy day. It's going to be an organized day because we've worked, we work hard every single day, but we've worked especially hard because we know it's a holiday week. We know that a lot of the guys are not might not work, so we try to make sure that we've got all of our rough inspections so we could have the guys doing as much as possible, hanging sheetrock, um, getting tile done. Really, most of our energy is making sure miscellaneous things are in place. There's one guy at every single job that will send a text, probably an initial big text, and then throughout the day, we'll get a hundred from every single job. You'll ask the guys, five or six times before eight o'clock. Is that all you need? Is that all you need? And they'll swear that it is. But throughout the day, it's just a rat race keeping up with them. Something will pop up. Something will pop up everywhere. And if and if something doesn't pop up at one of the houses we're working on, Matthew will have something that's an emergency. Um, one of the houses that nobody's been by will have like a leak or plants will be done. We'll do like an emergency water, you know, round up four sprinklers and go over there and, and soak them, you know, it's always something. So I lost out on a deal in Hoover and the people who beat me out just asked for a 15 day extension on their uh, home inspection and they asked for a $20,000 credit. So I'm fixing to get a house. What happened right here? Here's how you get a in this. Poor guy. You're nice. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Are you too busy right now for us? Because 10th uh, tenth, tenth and 7th need hardwood floors in the kitchen because they're bringing cabinets Monday. Ross is going to send you both addresses right now. Just do it again. Okay, thank you, man. He'll get it done. Love you. And I mean, you know, I, I freaking ride the hell out of people. I really do, man. It's just my nature. Like, I, I mean, I, I, I work hard too. I mean, but I like, I, I want everybody around me working and moving and getting stuff done. And, um, but I mean, equally Noah is, Noah is killing it too, man. He's so awesome. He, um, he's my nephew and he plays just an equally important role in what he does. Cause, Thing that the things that Noah does, Ross is not good at. So thankfully, I have found two people that are great at their jobs and in roles that I desperately need them in. Hey.